Hard Target is the Jean-Claude Van Damme mega blockbuster hit movie where he showed the world what it already knew. We don't deserve him. It starts off with this guy being chased by bikers doing sick tricks, dark forces, and Mr. Lopaki. We don't know the whole story, but Mr. Lopaki seems like a nice guy, so we'll just say he had it coming. It's not like we even give a shit because none of them are Van Damme, so nothing they do matters. Good. Then we get Bert's sister wasting more of our time asking questions about who the hell cares. Do you have any idea where he might be now? The lady tells her she's like a hundred years old and probably only has like three weeks to live and you're wasting precious Van Damme time. So take this box of bullshit and get the fuck out. Now we get what we're all here for, Van Damme having a sass off with Kid Cool Out. How's that Dumble chance? A tragedy. It ain't free, neither. Van Damme wins, obviously, but gives her a tip for being a good sport. That's right. On his way out, he notices some bullshit. <laughs> That's right, this motherfucker trying to steal his look in his own movie. You having fun? That's the face of someone who knows he's gonna die, but is also ecstatic at meeting Van Damme. But Van Damme's a man of the people, and while he's definitely going to kill them, he hooks them up by making their deaths f***ing awesome. After exploding two faces with one kick, <laughs> This dumbass try spin kicking Van Damme, which is just adorable. Then it's just another spin kick to take out Caveman Dam. And then this guy shows up, and Van Damme's not sure what his deal is, but he drinks shitty beer, so fuck him. He doesn't deserve a Van Damme death, so he makes him take himself out. Then he tells her she's a fucking idiot. Next time, be more careful when you show your wallet. And walks away. While she basks in the JCVD afterglow we all know so well. It turns out all the police are on strike, and I swear to God, Winslow's f***ing everywhere. All the police, except for this very organized lady, and holy shit, this city is so f***ed. What she lacks in everything, she makes up for in lazy and tells her to f*** off. Look, I just pulled a double shift, why don't you catch me tomorrow? Look, if you're too busy to do your job, then I'll find somebody who isn't so busy. Okay, great. Whatever gets you to leave. So she hires Van Damme to help her find her dad or something. It doesn't really matter, and it barely comes up. What's your name? It's Nat. Son of a bitch, he doesn't actually care. He was just being polite, but that's the worst name he's ever heard. Your parents name you for a uh, bug? That's not a compliment, but he's Van Damme and she's a woman, so she blushes out of pure biology. Then they meet up with Van Damme's buddy, who found something so awesome. I've got something to show you. That he just has to share it. So they forget why they're there in the first place, and now it's all about this. But they're quickly disappointed when they find out this is just a really good angle and you can barely recognize her. She tries to play it off like a misunderstanding. I never heard of you. But then remembers who she's talking to. And you can actually see her soul die. Luckily for her, they're interrupted by this idiot. I didn't know you had company. The place is packed. What the f are you talking about? Oh well, she's hideous anyways. We we're just leaving. Then they get amazing news. They found your father. That's great. His body. Oh f off. And now she's being super dramatic. Why didn't he ask for my help? He was probably afraid of your fucking eyebrows. Now Van Damme's buddy is being offered a hundred bucks to let someone hunt and kill him. You're gonna pay me a hundred bucks? He tells her that's 
fucking stupid and there's no way he'll ever do that. But she is a master of reverse psychology. Maybe you ain't interested. And now he's fucking in. And everything's going great until these guys show up. <laughs> They're not even a part of this. Bikers are just total assholes. <laughs> So he pops out of this little mausoleum and attacks this guy who isn't even a biker and was just paying some middle of the night rifle respects. <laughs> After being scolded by everyone for that heartless shit. Ain't got no change, man. He realizes they're right. He needs to change. So he does the honorable thing and turns himself in. But son of a bitch, he's the victim of a random act of violence. <laughs> Proving the universe is a total prick. He was Van Damme's friend though, so the universe is so fucked. First on his list is the ugly phone sex lady, but the universe is terrified and scrambling to make it up to him. So by the time he gets there, she's already dead. Looks like we missed the party. Next up are bikers who everyone still hates and get fucking wrecked immediately. Then something magical happens, and suddenly, bikers are fucking awesome. But oh shit, they're after him, and closing in quick, I guess he's done for. Fucking idiots. Van Damme doesn't give a shit if he's already dead. He ain't done with him, so he makes him get back up. And after flying through his bike that explodes for no scientific reason, he crushes him with these empty boxes. Then they head up this ramp, but her eyebrows are creating way too much wind resistance, so he makes her get the fuck off. These guys want to play chicken, so Van Damme does some quick calculations, and on one hand, them and their 85 Suburban have about 2,500 kilos on him and his XR650L, but on the other hand, the metric systems for pussies. These guys immediately regret everything when Van Damme stands up like he's gonna do a crane kick or some shit. Well, that would be awesome. They haven't earned that. And Van Damme just likes standing because he's a real action star. After sending some warning shots into the driver, he goes Paul Ham Dam over the truck. Then yells at them to swerve. And even though he's behind them now and they have no driver, the truck says, F this, he looks pissed, and Van Damme wins another one. Then this convertible shows up and challenges Van Damme to a quarter mile race to the train tracks, which he accepts on foot and fucking smokes him. But he's a sore loser and is going to shoot Van Damme when he realizes his gun has no fucking sights. So he tries to play it off like the bullet would never catch him anyways, which is also true. They're already like 30 miles away and we get this. You trust me? Which is like asking if you trust gravity. Of course I trust you. Only Van Damme is a much more fundamental force of the universe. Close your eyes. So she's praying for that big snake to come out. And when it does, she's fucking terrified. But don't worry, he gets that a lot and knows what to do. Is it dead? No, you fucking idiot. Not hardly. It's like she's never seen a man fist fight a snake before. What are you doing? Oh my god, lady, read a fucking book sometime. While he's giving her a crash course in ophiology, this man has created a lucrative business where people pay him for the honor of Van Damme killing them. $750,000 each. Should one of you be lucky enough to bring him down, I'll consider that hunter's account paid in full. He then laughs hysterically for a good 15 minutes. Now we meet Van Damme's uncle, and holy shit, the resemblance is uncanny. You come to see your <laughs> uncle, do they? 
He tells him she's the best and they're all gonna get along just great and wow, is that a new horse. As he was saying, she's terrible and your fucking problem. He's gonna be all right. No shit. They track Van Dam down and have him surrounded. They send in the guy with the best shirt to eliminate him once and for all. His adrenaline is through the roof and his heart is beating out of his chest. When he kicks open the door, suddenly he doesn't have a care in the world. Seeing Van Dam being so open, so carefree, and showing the world what it's like to truly live in the moment fills him with such inspiration that it's unclear if he's incapable of moving or if he just doesn't want to. It's never explained why there's a Thai bar in the middle of a bayou in Louisiana, but the world is just thankful that there is. After a 72-hour marathon of pure joy, Van Dam ends it with a split into butt wiggle so powerful the entire bar blows the f*** up. Then Uncle Van Dam shouts some drunken incoherent nonsense that nobody understands. He no catch the eagle! But they're pretty sure he's calling them all pussies. And holy shit, this entire family is awesome. Now Van Dam is explosion riding <laughs> while shooting bitches in helicopters. <laughs> or as Van Dam knows it. It was Tuesday. After ditching that slow horse, he lightly jogs to this abandoned warehouse because it was the 90s and that's where the craziest shit always happened. The absolute craziest is that these bikers think they stand a chance against Van Dam. Hey, pigeon. One spin kick later and they all shit their pants. Ripping us a new orifice. They bumble around like idiots and Van Dam actually starts to pity them. That's Pigeon for f those guys and that settles that. But that doesn't mean he can't put on a show. So after dropping some stork bombs, that causes Lance Henriksen to just f***ing ignite. He goes full Braun Johnson and performs a floor routine that even gets a 10 from the French judge, who you just know is a total asshole. It's time to start killing everyone off. So after taking out the last biker with a look of disappointment that would destroy any man. Awesome shirt guy is jonesing for some more Jean-Claude Van Dancing so he compromises with 29 rounds to the chest and a jumping spin kick. This guy gets eight rounds to the chest. Then how about a spin kick? Mr. Lopaki gets 13 rounds to the chest. And I don't know, a fucking spin kick. While that's happening, this guy comes across a crested owl who shoots him in the dick six times. But it's not a crested owl at all. It's actually her. She gets that a lot. Now Emotep begs Van Dam to go easy on him because he's such a huge fan. I've been looking all over for you. But so is everyone else in the world, f face. So he shoots him 30 times in the chest. Now there's just Lance Henriksen left, who tries to kill Uncle Van Dam like he's a goddamn vampire. <laughs> Van Dam can't believe someone would ever do something that fucking stupid. Then Lance tries to hit Van Dam with a flaming board. <laughs> which he thinks is cute before nailing him with a jumping spin kick. <laughs> he can't believe it, he's perfectly fine. <laughs> but oh shit, it was the five point exploding heel technique. And he blows the f up. And then it turns out Uncle Van Dam was stabbed in the insulin pump and diabetes saves the day again.